Hello friends. I've started this video, I don't know, four times now. She just wasn't having it. I am filming from my daughter's nursery. Um, so I thought, okay, until I can get her down for her nap, which should be really, really soon, I'll just go ahead and start this intro. This video is my ridiculously large shop Disney haul and I say large not like it's a million items I think it's only eight or nine um, but they're more what I would call big big ticket items but I'm really really excited about them I since having her I have learned I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to books and Disney toys really I mean half the stuff that I buy for her she can't use until she's like three but I will say almost everything I've purchased for her was on sale or I got on a really good clearance or in the case of this shop Disney haul were free. They were running a two day type of deal where where you purchase two or three items and you get one for free and there were like no restrictions on it. I mean no specifications you know pretty much everything qualified for this particular deal and if you are familiar with shop Disney that never happens nothing is ever free when it comes to Disney so I could not help myself and of course you new moms out there back me up middle of the night nursing sessions feeding sessions you're trying all you can do to just stay awake so you don't fall asleep on your child you start scrolling your phone you start buying stuff it just happens so anyway I have a little what I call gift closet and when I find these little things here and there for her that are a very good deal or just kind of a limited thing I have a place in my house for them and as she gets older I will use them as birthday gifts or Christmas presents or I will give them to family or friends to gift to her in fact one of the items in this particular haul I'm going to give to my mom to give to her when she is older or old enough um, because I want this particular gift to come from my mom to her. So that's the quick backstory. That's the quick intro. She's pretty tired. She's she's starting to give it up. So hopefully I'll be back in just a couple of minutes to show you all the awesome goodies that I got on Shop Disney. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, baby girl is down for hopefully at least a decent nap. Uh, I am in her nursery. Sorry. So me kind of quiet oh wow she's already fussy this is probably not the best idea of mine to have to do this video in here that's okay we're just gonna roll with it okay so real quick look at the size of this box it's a really big box <laughs> sorry I had to get my husband to help me <coughs> excuse me bring it into the nursery so we're just going to jump right in with this Shop Disney haul. First of all, Shop Disney, I need to find out where to buy this tissue paper like in bulk. I love it. Look how cute this is. And me being such a weird crafter pack rat, I kind of want to hang on to it. Maybe I can figure out something cute or cool to do with it. Let me know if you've done anything fun with your Shop Disney wrapping paper, packing paper, whatever you want to call it. Sorry. I should probably try and talk a little bit louder, but... You know, once you finally get your little one down, you don't mess with it. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and roll with this. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not really, I'm not going to quote prices on this kind of stuff. You can go to Shop Disney and check it out. Like I said, all this was under this particular, like, one or two day sale that Disney, Shop Disney was having. Uh, the sale did not last long. It actually also corresponded with a free shipping that they had going. So not only were some of these items for free, I got free shipping, which is huge. You can really save money doing that. And I was surprised they let us couple those coupons. A lot of times websites just won't let you do that. So, oh my gosh, where to start? Okay, um, okay, we'll start with the first little gift that I said I was going to give to my mom to give to Briar, which is my little girl. Um, let's see, this is, oh, Look at this Disney tea set. Disney Princess Magical Tea Set is what they call it, actually. It has Snow White, Belle, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Tiana. It has a teapot, four cups, four saucers, a little creamer, a spoon, and three macaroons, macarons, or whatever. I eat them every time we're in Disney, and they're delicious, but how cute is that? That's what they are. We're just going to show you a quick 
view of it. How cute is that, right? Oh, it's so tempting not to break all this stuff open and just play with it. I can't wait. I don't want to rush her to grow up, but she's got some pretty awesome toys waiting for her. I will tell you, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, um, second thing, I have had this item in my Shop Disney cart, I kid you not, for a month. And I just kept talking myself out of purchasing it or I kept thinking, wait till there's a sale, wait till it's a better opportunity. And lo and behold, this opportunity presented itself. So needless to say, this is something that's I've been eyeing for a very long time. I am so excited about this. I want to open it so bad. I'm just gonna have to wait. <laughs> It is a Snow White Apple Pie for Grumpy Play Kit. Let me say this again. Snow White Apple Pie for Grumpy Play Kit. <laughs> like the scene in the movie when she's making the pie. Granted, she's not making an apple pie in the movie. She's making a gooseberry pie. A little Disney trivia for you. But she writes out in... Um, dough grumpy on the top of the pie and I just love that scene so let me show you what this thing comes with it is so sweet you have a spoon a rolling pin a flour sack an apron an egg and a container a bowl the dough the top that says grumpy the pie pan and right under here if you can see guys apple slices how stinking cute Look at that one more time. Can you see it says grumpy? So let me show you the back. This is everything that comes in it. But it's all soft in fabric except for just these pieces. All this is soft and fabricy. Even the egg yolk inside is fabric. The little apple slices are fabric. The grumpy's fabric. The little apron. I cannot wait to make this pie with her. I'm so excited. Can you even? Oh my gosh. Seriously, go on Chop Disney and get yours before you can't get them anymore. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry. Just did a quick check on her. She's doing okay. Okay, um, let's keep rolling through. I guess the biggest item in this box. Oh, my Lanta. I saw this and I just couldn't help myself. Let me show you the box first and then tell you everything that's in it because the box kind of doesn't exactly fully explain. It's a big old box. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. We have Mrs. Potts, two chip cups, two plates, the gray stuff, a cupcake, Lumiere, and if you can see what looks like this tray that they're all on, it is a tray, but it's the rolling tray that Lumiere sings Be Our Guest on from the movie, and yes, it sings. <laughs> So let me show you the back of the box. You'll get a better idea of actually what's in it. So you can see the actual tray that has Mrs. Potts and all the little pieces on it and Lumiere. And yes, it sings Be Our Guest. Can you even? Told you, told you. We're gonna have so much fun playing with these things. It takes so much self-control for me to not just rip all these open now and play with them. So anyways, like I said, a lot of these gifts she can't even use for two and a half more years maybe, but that's okay. It'll be so worth it. Okay. Uh, next item I got really was more of a for me item, me and my husband. I love puzzles. He's okay with them as long as they're not too big. This one was kind of a big one. I didn't quite realize it, but it's so pretty. It's a thousand pieces, but look, it is all the Walt Disney World attractions. What? I even have a sweatshirt or a hoodie that has this on it from our last trip. So you've got Magic Kingdom, Tree of Life from Animal Kingdom, Spaceship, Earth from Epcot, and then down here you have Tower of Terror from Hollywood Studios. I kind of wish they would have given a little bit more love to Hollywood Studios, but that's okay. Anyway, look how cute. I'll show you the back. It's a little bit clearer and bigger. How cute is that? And I'll be honest, I think the puzzle is in the shape of the Mickey hat. I don't know that for sure. It didn't really say. So, 
I don't know. I'd be interested to see. Wouldn't that be so cool, though, if the pieces were made to actually be in the shape of the head? I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Okay. Um, looks like the rest of the items are kind of for me, but that's okay because they were supposed to be. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of her things for free because I bought stuff for myself. So, next thing I bought for myself <laughs> is this silicone Disney Parks kind of mold. Turn it around this way. As you can see, we have the Mickey head, the castle, another Mickey head, excuse me, these are Mickey hat, Mickey ears, and this is the It's a Small World imprint. Cool thing is look at what's on the inside. Look how cute is that? I love it. I actually am hoping to start to make my own um, like bath, dissolving bath bombs from more all natural ingredients and I thought this would be the perfect size to make those little bath bombs with. So that's kind of for me, but I'm sure I'll use it for some crafts with Briar as well. Jello projects, whatever in the future. So how fun is that? Silicon mold. Okay, the next thing is da, 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 the parks version of Candyland. Now my husband and I actually have multiple versions of Candyland. We love Candyland. I love it because there is literally no skill. It's all luck. It is luck of the draw. You could be at the very end and draw a card that sends you all the way back. <laughs> so it's always a lot of fun. We love Candyland. I do have a different Disney version and I have the original version from my mom. This one is the Disney Deluxe Park Edition. So basically all the places that you're going to go through or could get stuck in are Disney Park attractions, which I think is going to be amazing. Look how pretty. Look at the color, the detail. I cannot wait to play this. Maybe I can talk him into a quick round of Candyland tonight. Okay, more games, guys. <laughs> we love to play games. Um, this one, I'm really hoping. I actually bought this a little while ago, but I've been wanting to show it on my channel. So if you guys have played it out there, let me know if you like it or not. I bought it. It's one of those where it probably would be more fun with a couple of people, like more than two. So hopefully I'm going to have my sisters over here and make them sit on us all play together. But... It's upside down, Christina. Oh. Oh. Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirits game. How cool is this? It features all the different rooms in the classic Haunted Mansion attraction. Uh, I'm going to say it's park specific. Oh, yeah. To Disney, of course, Disneyland, Disney World. Um, but I think it's basically you collect haunt cards and you meet up with all the different ghosts throughout the game as you work your way across the board. But how fun is this? Look at that board. Madame Leota cards, hitchhiking ghosts. How fun is this going to be, guys? I'm running out of room over here. Okay, we're down to two items. <laughs> Another game. What? This, uh, brace yourself. It is the Disney Parks version of the Game of Life. Let me say it again for the people in the back. The Disney Parks version of the Game of Life. I'm so excited. We do have life. We do love to play life. But you throw Disney into it and it just is so much more fun. So I will show you the back. Basically it says here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Welcome to the Disney Parks. How fun! Disney Park Theme Park Edition. It has all these different theme park cards where you might get to go, resorts that you might end up staying at, returning visits. The um, money has Fairy Godmother, Tinkerbell, and in the center, it actually has what looks like Main Street and a Mickey head and the classic Walton Mickey statue as the, um, what do you call it? The twister thing, twister box. I'll show you right here. Look at that. I got some reflecting on it. Sorry, guys. Anyway, how cool is that? Disney Parks Game of Life. Get yours today. Shop Disney. We made it to the end. It's only took like seven minutes. That's actually not that bad. I'm probably going a little bit quicker and quieter because Briar is sleeping right like there. This last item is totally a me item for me. Had to have it. Saw it. Oh my gosh. I hope Disney keeps putting these out on Shop Disney. I hope it's like a new thing because since buying this particular one that I'm about to show you, I've seen two more similar to it. And I'm like, oh man, now 
have to have those, but they're so cute. The sweatshirt. <laughs> and it features Walt Disney World. This is the front, actually. Normally you see this on the back of the spirit jersey. This is the front. But down below, waiting to say hey, is Slinky. <laughs> Can you even? How cute is that? This is the front. And if that wasn't cute enough, turn it around. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not the cutest design ever? Ever. I love this. I absolutely love this. I ordered it really big because I do like really big sweatshirts. And I know it might drop a little bit, but I think I ordered it just one size too big. So if I order a different one, I will go down a size, but super soft. This is embroidered, y'all. This is not a sticker. So this is really good quality. This is a good quality shirt. And I mean, come on, can you even? Why? So after ordering this one, of course, once you order stuff from Shop Disney, you know, they like, stalk you and hound you and show you look at all these new things that you now have to have it's crazy but i saw one that had lion king on the front it had simba on the front it had nala on the back i don't know if i'm gonna get that one or not there's one other one that i really really do think i'm gonna get on the front it has lady from lady and the tramp and she has a piece of spaghetti in her mouth so of course twirling around the side to the back of the sweatshirt is tramp with the other end of the spaghetti oh of course, it's kind of crazy now because you're like, it's mid-March. We're like going to be coming into warmer weather, but I'm a sweatshirt person kind of like year round. I mean, even if it's hot, we keep our house kind of cold in the summer just for comfort. I love them. And I have sweatshirts in my closet that I've literally owned for years. So I will wear them out season in and season out. But I just thought this was the cutest one. Guys, we made it to the end of that box. So this is what I'm going to try to do very quickly. <laughs> Put all these items back into the box and you'll get to see them one more time. Um, let's start with the big kahuna. The singing, dancing, Lumiere tray. Be our guest. Yes, he sings. And yes, it comes with the gray stuff toy. Alright, put that down in there. Our Walt Disney World Park Attraction 1000 piece puzzle. Can't wait. I will tell you if it ends up being in the shape of Mickey's head. The Disney Parks version of Candyland featuring all of the Disney Park attractions. Guys, we're going to have so much fun. I can't wait. <gasps> My Disney Mickey Head, Mickey Hat, Small World, and Castle Silicon Mold for crafts and such. Hopefully mainly bath bombs. I'll do a video on that too if I get a recipe down that works well. My favorite. <laughs> the Snow White Apple Pie Baking Set. For Grumpy. Oh yeah. I can't wait, guys. I cannot wait. The Disney Princess Tea Set. With the macarons. Which is a total classic Disney snack item. The Disney Parks version of the Game of Life. Featuring all of the, the different Disney World Park. Um, look, you can even see all these cards. I think it's Pop Century, which is a resort at Disney World. So they got really specific. I think that's so cool. I can't wait to open this one up. The Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirits board game. And lastly, but definitely not least, the Slinky Dog sweatshirt of the year. Walt Disney World embroidered, slinky dog in the front, slinky behind on the back. And all I could think of was in Toy Story 2 when Buzz and all of the friends are going to save Woody. They cross the street and Buzz is doing like a head count and he says, well, who's behind? And Slinky comes and says, mine. And his little butt is just trailing. You guys know this. You know the scene. Think about it. You'll see it in your head. <laughs> Anyways, guys, 
that is it that is my big shop disney haul and the reason to me it's big is just because of some of these items they're big toy items like i said for my daughter who is only three months but like i said i did not pay full price for every single item two or three of these things i got for free i did not pay for shipping that was also free due to some kind of like special shipping thing they were running so i kind of feel like i did pretty good all things considering i was already going to buy the board games and a sweatshirt so the toys were kind of an afterthought i didn't actually go to shop disney looking for toys for my daughter i went on shop disney looking for new sweatshirts and board games <laughs> so the toys ended up being a pleasant surprise and they're being such a good deal i'm so excited all right guys i can't believe it you stuck with me she's still sleeping that's amazing <laughs> I'm so glad to be doing these videos again. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, if you have had a recent like Shop Disney haul or something that you just purchased from Shop Disney that you recommend that you really love, especially for your kiddo, um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you got. Okay, guys, until the next video, have a magical day. Bye.